I'm not even vlogging today. This is just like a random dinner insert from the week. I'm thoroughly excited about it and I think it's gonna be a hit. Let me show you. First, you grab a plate. Is that a waffle, Raina? Yes. Yes, it is. But it's not a normal waffle. It's a cornbread waffle. What? Hold tight. Next. What's on that? Is that chili? Is this a chilafel? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But wait, there's more. We're gonna grab some cheese and we're gonna. Ooh, girl. Cornbread waffle, chili, cheese on top, and for me, a little dollop of. I want to call it cream cheese. It's sour cream. I'll let you know if it's amazing as I think it's gonna be, but I'm like. I have a I have a little highlight for is it a Wednesday? Wednesday we got a is it bombs and bubbles? I'm totally not prepared for this. But we're gonna do this. Bombs and Bubbles. It is a subscription box that I pay is it $35 for a month. And we get five or six bath bombs. Hi, Abby. I can smell it. I'm actually up for debate here because I feel like this subscription box overall smells better. So far than Lush. You have a car. It's backwards to you, but it is winter wonderland. Let's see what we got. Oh, well, this is just cute. You smell like three pebbles. So this one's called Slay Runner. My husband thinks they smell like fruity pebbles. This one's called Slay Runner, and it is an adorable pink deer with glitter. It says it's purple plums covered in sugary coating with a light creamy vanilla and soft musky background. It smells so good, and it's cute. What's that? It smells good. It smells good. All right. The next one. Oh. My goodness. How fun. Okay, you have to look at this one. It's a freaking, they made a snow globe one. This is obviously a little bouncy ball. Like, look. But they made it into a snow globe. I love that. It's like sitting on top of a little blue donut. This one doesn't have a name attached to it. But this is so fun. I love that. Okay. Next. Look at this guy. It's a penguin. It says decadent hot cocoa smell with a hint of vanilla and marshmallow. His name is Waddles. It does smell like cocoa. But it's like fruity cocoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at him again. How flippin' cute. Oh, did that, the snow globe did have a tag, it fell off, but it is a yummy sugar cookie topped with lemon glaze. Change it up a little for Santa. It is lemony. It smells so good. Yay! I literally don't think I will stop this box. It's too fun. We have a big blue snowflake with glitter on it. It's called Snowflake. It says this scent uses the power of peppermint and orange oil to create a crisp, clean mint. Maybe I smell peppermint, but like sweet peppermint, like those soft mints that you can get like an after dinner mint. 
That's like the after yeah. smell and the, and the forward smell yeah. is citrus. But if nobody told me what this was, I wouldn't know what I was smelling, if that makes sense. Interesting. Maybe one of the boys will take this one. And, oh my goodness. It's Frosty! That was probably so obnoxious. It's called Frosty. It's sweet peppermint spearmint with hints of vanilla. Makes you want to go walking in a winter wonderland. Ooh. I don't know if I like this one. <laughs> I mean, the more I smell it, the better. Like, the initial smell kind of reminded me of ammonia. But the more I smell it, no. I don't know. It kind of, or like a cleaning product. I don't love this one, but obviously I love the shape of him. It's freaking frosty. Love that. Okay, is that it? It might be. It might be. There might be one more. I can't remember. Okay, it is. It is five bath bombs for $35. And again, I got a snowflake, a pink deer, frosty, a snow globe. Do it one more time. and a penguin. All right, I'll see you later. It is the last Friday before Christmas and I still feel like I need to get maybe a couple little things for Ryan's stocking. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to head over to my sister's and we are going to make some Christmas cookies and I still need to figure out the cookies I want to make and go buy everything for them. Um, I definitely want to make my sugar cookies that look like they have little lights on them with tiny M&Ms or mini M&Ms I should say and I want to make white chocolate white chocolate dipped wafers that you like make cute little designs on um those are the only two things for sure my mom sent me a picture of this really cute like cake pan or cookie pan but they have like the cutouts and they look like snowflakes and i was like how yummy would it be to make some type of like lemon sugar cookie and put a powdered sugar topping over it so I'm gonna try and find a recipe that would work with those for that and so that's a lemon cookie a sugar cookie a wafer cookie I kind of want to look into making like some type of like puppy chow some kind of festive things to put in a baggie and then the last one that was in my mind were Christmas nipples I saw a Facebook post of somebody that went to make those like kiss cookies with like peanut butter cookie and then you put a kiss in the middle like you indent it and you put your kiss but they didn't have any of the kiss so they used the chocolate bells and when you put those in the oven you guys they look like Christmas boobies and they make me smile and I just feel like my Christmas platter should have those. So, anyways, that's it. And then my sister sent me a picture. It looked like a sugar funfetti type sprinkled cookie that she wants to make. And I don't know if she found any other cookie recipes, but we're going to be making cookies all day long. It's the plan. And then I want to make platters for um, a few friends, bring some home to my boys, and then maybe give some to some neighbors. Um, but that's it. I'm kind of like weary. Like, can we do, can we do cookie platters right now because of COVID? Like, what are the rules? I guess if my neighbors throw away my cookies, I'll never know and it's fine. But anyways, that's what's up. And I wanted to talk about these things. See if you guys can see them. I 
I'm trying these out. They're called like, let's go look, let's go get them. They're like a pimple sticker and it's supposed to naturally derive oils and if you have any of the yummy white pus in it, it's supposed to naturally get it out for you and then your pimples go away. And I'm testing them out today. I've got like two little baby ones coming in. I don't want to have pimples. I just don't want to have them. This thing. So, I plan to pick up the camera again in a couple days, but it's the Han Hu Blemish Patch. It's non-medicated hydrocolloid spot treatment. It protects blemishes from dirt, debris, infections, blends in with the skin, which does pretty good. Like, my kids haven't said anything to me about my chin today. Um, I'll see what the hus how long it takes the husband to notice. Um, reduces inflammation and redness and gently absorbs impurities. I even have one on my back. I have one coming in like right where my bra strap, strap is. And I was like, oh yeah, I bought those patches. And then I realized I had two baby ones coming in on my chin. So anyway, I'll let you guys know if it works. And I'm going to go talk to my friends right now. I just peeled these guys off of my chin. I feel like they feel less swollen, but that definitely didn't fix that. I feel like they're less swollen, but it definitely didn't like do any, like there's nothing on this. So these patches are dumb in my opinion. That's probably why they were only like $3. Yes, I'm wearing this hat out into public. <laughs> I am running to Walmart. It is Saturday before Christmas, so I'm trying to go early. It's a little bit after 8, but hopefully I will miss the crowds a bit by getting out early. Um, although maybe other people are thinking like me. We'll see. But I have to get quite a bit of stuff for... Um, cookies. I have like a whole page of stuff that I need to get. So we're making six different cookies. I think that I may do like little clips from us doing cookies tonight because I want to show you guys the cookies. Um, whether they're just completed or while we're making them. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This hat <laughs> I used to wear a lot when I was like 22. And I've just never let it go. And I know that's ridiculous, but like I love it too. So when in Walmart, you wear the hats, okay? You wear the hat. <laughs> I like it tied back though. Anyways, gonna go do that. And then I have to also run into the Dollar Tree and see if I can find the little treat bags that they have still and um, see if they have any platters or plates in case I don't find any at Walmart. I might find those things at Walmart and skip Dollar Tree altogether. We will see, but I just wanted to let you know what I was doing today and how ridiculous I look. And oh, update on those sticker things. So I washed my face again last night and I put them on these guys and they're, I mean, they're there. But when I took them off this morning, there was stuff stuck to them. And they're not inflamed. They're red, but they're not all like, bam. Probably should put more on them, but to be honest, my husband was pooping in that room and I was avoiding that area of the house. <laughs> all right, time to go. All righty, as promised, I wanted to show you guys the special cookies that we were making. Um, my sister jumped into the shower, so I thought this would be a good quiet moment to share. And then we have these cookies. These are supposed to look like little Christmas lights. And they're just little sugar cookies. Super, super cute. And over here, we have these little snowflake cookies. And they are a yummy glazed lemon cookie. I pretty much just took an Italian lemon recipe. Um, and we used some molds my mom had and put a glaze over them and they're super cakey and good. And then over here, we made some crock pot candy 
and they're just like a chocolate peanut little pile with some sprinkles and then this is called Chex Mix Christmas Crack it's got two different types of Chex bugles um, M&Ms gosh pretzels and sprinkles and peppermint is so so yummy it was so nice last night just hanging out with my sister catching up and um bonding with her dog a little bit her dog's a little bit skeptical um so it's been it's been fun <laughs> but um she's warmed up to me and she's um a less threatened by me coming and going out of the house which is which is a plus um, I'd show you guys to her, but she disappeared. <laughs> um, anyways, I had a really good time last night with my sister, and I'm ready to put these platters together, deliver them, and go home to my boys. I want to come on here and say, spending some time with my sister, making cookies, and dropping them off has been the highlight of my season. Like, I'm like sitting in my car listening to Christian tunes and just feeling in the spirit of Christmas and having so much like true Christmas spirit joy as I drop off these things. I need to make this a tradition. Like I need to pick those that I love and make them treats and drop them off every Christmas season because this just makes me so happy. And I need to document this. I'm, I'm literally like, feel so much joy and feel so full and complete. And I'm like, this is what the season is about. It's not about anything else. This is it. I still have to stop by my mama's and return some of the baking tools she let us borrow. And we made her cookies, of course. And then we had a whole bunch of leftover Chex Mix. So. I think that I'm going to give that to my mom and then she can just pour those into like a big bowl when we have our Christmas Eve get together. That just makes the most sense to me. Um, and then I have one more cookie platter for an oldie moldy friend from like forever. She lives a few blocks behind me and then I don't know if I'll get to go home because I scheduled grocery pickup at 1 to 2 and it's 12.40 right now so I have a feeling I'll be going home with groceries because <laughs> I don't see a point to go home and then turn around and leave again and make the kid mad because I just got home. Anyways, I just want to document how happy I am because I'm so happy. My friend Ashley made me a cocoa ball. She did a white chocolate, got cocoa in the middle and peppermint. I went ahead and did some milk with a little bit of peppermint creamer and then I'm gonna put this in there and top it with some hot milk so here we go drop it in drop it in Woo. here it goes Is it gonna pop open? There it goes. Oh, it smells good. Thank you, Ashley. You're probably not watching this, so I'll have to message you. This will be a lovely afternoon pick me up. Yes, it will. I didn't close it. 
So sorry. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this little montage of random pre-Christmas activities. Um, I think I still have two videos to be current, so um, I'll get to editing tomorrow and see if I can get these coming out in the next consecutive days. But thank you guys for coming back again, especially watching these super long videos if you made it to your like. Totally don't have to do that, but I appreciate you, the, those of you that do pop in and say hi. Um, it means a lot to me. Anyways. Good. Until next time, take care, love always. Bye.